What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We're already getting that item over there, I don't think there's anything in this one. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, we're going to continue. We got some shadow sirens here, let's see what they have to say. Oh, wait, they're still chilling here. <laughs> oh, what am I to do? Uh, go, go. Oh, what is what is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us, scram right now! I have no business with you. Okay, well, apparently they have no business with us, so uh, we're just gonna keep going here. Oh, we got some new enemies here, so let's go ahead and attack them. All right, these guys right here specifically. Oh, we got two new enemies, two new bios. These guys are the Pale Piranhas. They have four health and they can deal four damage. Kind of strong, honestly. Some of the stronger enemies that we've uh, we've faced so far, but we're gonna take them out pretty quickly, just like that, and we'll go. Go ahead and uh, hit him with that Koops. This guy is a cleft. He's got two points of defense, so that's mainly his highlight there. But if you can get a Super Guard on him, or you can hammer him, or I think you need to Power Smash him. Wait, does he have two points of defense? He does. That's weird. Okay, so Koops can hit him because he's powered up. That's right, I forgot. We powered up Koops already. Okay, cool. Um, what's over here? Is this a, this is a Honey Syrup? Um, we actually want this because we have five FP right now. Look at the cleft. He's just running at us. So let's do the, the throw and use strat. Um, we're going to heal up our FP here. I don't think we really need it in the near future, but might as well. Um, are we going to have any new enemies? I'll wait until I see him in the overworld. I know there's like one star piece somewhere along these trees, so I'm kind of paranoid. I'm just checking a bunch of them um, because I'm not 100% certain. But whatever. Let's just keep going. Oh, so we got Punio with us. There, can you see it? That big tree. That That's what I was telling you about. That's where the punies live. That's home. Oh, of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piters, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Okay, we're going to follow him. They got the little hole there for the, the puny. Ooh, there's a little coupon right there. that we, did we Didn't we throw the other one out? I don't even know if I want it, dude. I really don't care. All right, let's keep going. It's getting near this great tree over here. It's a great big tree. It's not the Deku tree, tree, um, but it's a it's a big tree. It's the great tree. All right, let's keep going over here. This this area, the area, this area is very reminiscent of Paper Mario 64. I always think of um, Chapter Five. Hold on, one, real quick though, we're gonna go over here and grab a badge. I always think of Chapter Five with that big tree with the. Uh, the Raphael the Raven in it. We got the FP plus, so it's similar to the HP plus. It can power up FP by five if we want to use three BP on that. Let's talk to Punio. Uh oh no, what's the matter? Oh wait, that's Coops. Uh well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I, I thought I could finally save everyone. I I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It looks so sturdy, though. What what, what do we do now? Uh... Um... Got it! <laughs> okay, sure, we'll follow you, Punio. Seems like he knows what he's doing. Long ago, the Puny Elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get in through there. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. Well, what should we do? Not to be a worry warp, but is, how in the heck can we find somebody's secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. But, oh boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh, oh, got it! Flurry! Surely, Madam Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry's a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, we want her to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's head back in the direction we came from. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Seems like we don't have no other option here but to go check out what Madame Flurry is up to. And we got a little nice cutscene here. 
Ah, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I did have. Oh my, yes. Okay, alright. This place is so different from the bright flashbulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace. This negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Fleury, grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that live in the tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Ooh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. I already feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines on the stage, on me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. Oh, we got a little headshot. It's settled then. I shall rise again. But before I make my stage come back, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No! It's gone! Gone, I tell you, my... My... Ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-
And we get the... Oh my god, it almost fell off. Quake Hammer. I think... Is there a star piece in like this one? It's near. Dude, there's a star piece close. I know. I know there is. Okay. All right. We got the Dark Puff. We've already faced him. There it is. It's that one. I was like, I know it's one of these trees. Okay. We got it. We're good. Um, so I don't think... Look, they're in the distance. That's what I was telling you about. Flurry's place. I don't think there's anything over here. Yeah, you can heal up if you'd like. I don't really care that much. So we're going to use our cursed ability here. Sneak in there. Slide into DMs. Go to Flurry's house. Star piece right there. I knew there was one around too. Dude, I have like these star piece senses. Like, you know, like spidey senses. My star piece senses are tingling. Like when there's one around. Um, of course, there was one back there too that I'm going to get on the way back. That you probably saw. Uh, excuse me. Um, maybe she isn't here. I, I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. I also always thought it was interesting that there's a save block here. Like, I remember thinking that this was going to be a boss. Like, we were going to have to face Flurry. She was just going to be pissed that we broke into her house. And she was going to attack us. But, uh, it's quite the opposite. Let's, let's just, let's check it out. Madam Flurry, hello. If you're here, say something. Yeek! No! Out of the question. You mustn't come in here. Uh, Madam Flurry, uh, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? This is kind of intrusive, isn't it? Oh, oh, wait a moment. Those darling, squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dear. Is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, uh, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am. The, the Great Tree's entry hole is blocked. There's this stupid door we can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle and Mario needs the crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. If you can't find the secret entrance for us, we're done. Really an ultimatum there. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that. My adorable little punio. You know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamina l laminatably? What? Sometimes these words, man, I'm just not ready for them. I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Gee, is something wrong? It's, uh, it's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it. So I shan't be going. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty. And that's that. Gee whiz, that, that must be some Nike necklace, huh? Uh, hang on. You know what? It's, it's weird. I'm sure I just heard someone talking about a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you have any clue as to my necklace whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. If you could, then I'd be delighted to help my squishy little friend Punio. Wow, so she's like, I'll do anything to help my boy Punio. And then... She goes off, needing some jewelry to do it. Come on, man. Don't worry, Madam Flurry. I I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Word is he's super. <laughs> we are quite super, but not until the next Paper Mario game. You could do it, right, Mario? Nah. Huh? Did you just say nah? Uh, what's wrong with you? Let's go find her necklace. <laughs> I'm sorry to trouble you so. I love sometimes just, like, saying the opposite of what they want you to say. Because, like, in Nintendo games... The RPGs are never, like, truly RPGs in the sense that, like, it really affects what happens. Bell, um, I told you, blaming for me lose, blaming me for losing that sketch, and you had it. Silence, you twit. Now's not the time to get hung up on stupid details. We must study this sketch. Go, <laughs> go. Oh, wow, this Mario guy looks so manly. Check out that bussy mustache. Bushy mustache. He, how handsome. You know something, though, my lovelies? I swear this gentleman... I've seen this gentleman before. Ah! He's Mr. Mustache! Uh, uh. Ah, I don't believe this. Vivian, this is without a doubt all your fault. I'll be dealing uh, out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh, yes, I promise you that. What? Th that's not fair. Y you're the one who had the... Silence, you squirrel brain! Don't cop that insolent attitude with me. Uh, uh, this is not fair. And about that necklace. I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more. Aww. And, and since you came 
it caused this problem. You have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. <laughs> Alright, so that's what's going on over there. I don't know what they're thinking, but I know what I'm thinking. I'm trying to deal some damage. So I say we, we head over there and see what's up. Shall we? Shall we? Oh, we still got Punio with us. I wish Punio could battle with us. How awesome would that be? Like, even if he wasn't good, I feel like that would just be a legendary step for, for Paper Mario and all that it's worth. Punio as a partner. There's They've got so much good potential for partners, too. Uh, Honestly, dudes, if we're being honest with each other, I'm thinking we just hit him with a Fire Flower. Get some star points, get some coins. I don't really need them, but... Wait, oh, I forgot the cleft. Okay, whatever. We're going to be fine anyway. The Fire Flower doesn't hit the cleft. That's very interesting. All right. See you later, bro. It's been real. So, yeah, if you really needed to level up, I would say get in battles in this game because they give you a ton of star points. Um... They're really, like I said, not that necessary, though, because this game's not that hard. Some people have trouble with, like, the final boss, uh, but most of the time you're going to be all right if you play your cards right, if you know what you're doing. Can I get this item now? So we're not going to go back to the tra Great Tree. We're going to go back here because we need to find the necklace. Seems like the only proper decision here is to, uh, to go check out what those Shadow Sirens were up to. I hate avoiding these Piranha Plant encounters. They're so annoying. Alright, I think we're Gooch. I think we're Gucci. Well, if it isn't Mario, shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came looking for us. <laughs> and you know why? Because we're waiting for you. Uh, 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 I remember they're the ones with- Hey, wait a second. What do you mean you've been waiting for Mario? That sounds suspicious. Wee <laughs> I have no quarrel with you, but I simply cannot can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Whoa, whoa, scary lady. How do you know about the map and the crystals? Have you talked to Princess Peach or something? Hey, now that I think about it, who are you anyway? <laughs> Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The Three... Shadow Beauties. The three Shadow Beauties. Vivian, you nincompoop. What are you babbling about? It's Shadow Sirens. <laughs> I love it. Don't you, I don't see three beauties. I see two. But then there's you and you're plug ugly. Oh, no. You didn't just say that to her. That is savage. Uh, right, sis. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm. It's just you always call us lovelies and... It's just a figure of speech. Oh, you've got some fierce punishment coming your way. Aw, oh, gee whiz, I, I hate being punished. That's for later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lovelies, or rather, my lovely and ugly Marilyn Vivian. The might of the three Shadow Sirens will be more than enough to win today. Oh, okay. <sighs> And they come at us. And this is a mini-boss battle versus the Shadow Sirens. It's the most unlucky our sights are set on you, but unlucky for you, well, of course. Marilyn, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Go. Yes, sis. All right, so yeah, we got a mini-boss battle here. Let's roll out the bios. First off, in the front, we've got Vivian. Vivian's got 10 health and only one attack point, so she's not too much to worry about. Um, you can read the description there. And then we've also got... Wait for it, wait for it. Beldum with 9 HP and 1 attack power. Beldum is the weakest of them all, but she lays in the back there just, just plotting your demise. And then in the middle, you got the powerhouse, Marilyn, with 12 health and 2 attack. Marilyn's actually the most deadly of them all. Um, she can, she's the one that can actually deal damage, but... Um, Right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and... We're going to make this quick battle. We're going to go ahead and throw a Fire Flower at him. And we're going to deal three damage to all of them. And then we're actually going to use our brand new ability that I haven't shown off yet. It's a very strong ability. It's called Earth Tremor. Now that we have the first Crystal Star, we can per perform this and deal a lot of damage to all the enemies in the field. So, let's go ahead and do that right now. You just got to press A when the star lights up. And that's how you're going to progress. So I need to kind of focus a little bit as it gets as it gets harder. All 
All right, there you go. So we got all of them there. It's gonna attack all. I love the way like the purple like things are connected to the ground. It's gonna deal six damage. So that's gonna take out Beldum. Ah, it's up to you. It's up to Vivian. Oh, can't even. It doesn't even hurt us. We have one point of defense. Look at this. Oh, Marilyn's going for us. All right, we got the guard there. Nice. Okay, so that's only one damage, and then we're gonna finish it off with another. Should I? Should I though? Or I kind of want to do the mystery. You know, let's save the mystery. Let's save the mystery for like a a more fun battle that it could benefit us. And that this battle, the fire flower is just gonna do it. And there's the shadow sirens in one and a half turns. Go. There you go. It's gonna be a lot of star points. Man, I wish Box Lady showed up. God dang it. Yeah, well, maybe we're just a, a touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps. We would have won if you two pulled your weight. I love how Beldum says that. We had Beldum out in the first turn. She didn't do shit. She didn't do anything. Oh, my gosh. Both of you prepared a world-class punishment session when we get home. Jeez, what is, I want to know what she does to these. I, actually, maybe I don't want to know what she does. And we got the necklace. Flurry's favorite necklace. Yeah, that's Flurry's necklace. Let's take it to her. All right, this has kind of been a longer episode, but I wanted to do that battle because I promised you guys in the last episode that we were going to do it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.